Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello there. Um, well, here we are um, with the start of the Edith Holden uh, file folder folio journal. Whoa, what a title. Um, if you didn't see um, the memories of the meadow altered file folder, um, you will see in that video the start of, of this file folder and because I only just filmed that I didn't feel like anybody would particularly want to watch the same process again um, so I got it to to a point where the kind of bare bones are are done so what I started off with was a file folder <coughs> this is um, an American um, I think it's called a legal size, um, so it's a bit bigger than than the regular kind of uh, file folder. It is uh, in craft uh, card. Now you don't have to use file folder; you can just use card. Um, if I give you the measurements, and obviously it doesn't have to be these measurements either. Um, you know if you've got a smaller file folder or card so it's 12 about 15 and height wise it's uh, about nine so that's what I started with um, and I've put um, a one inch spine in now you can either measure that half it and you know you take half an inch one side and the other side i'm no good at numbers so literally what i do is fold it in half i you know i don't go and um miter it down kind of thing just do it loosely then i open it up and i score from that line half and that line half i just find that a lot easier um and that makes um that um so when you have a file folder it's you know like like that so i cut along there and there and this spine piece I glue down to the other one so we then end up with that kind of thing which is <clears throat> you know this is one part two parts three parts okay so that's how I do that um I've covered it in Edith Holden um wallpaper <coughs> and got uh just just a square of it and it just did this one and uh that little folio i did um some tags for the other day and i just put a bit obviously you can't uh see it but um i'd covered the under side of the file folder as well just the top part so you could um see see that um then i what did i do next i glued those together so that's um you know one spine onto the other spine to make this kind of pages um i put tyvek um behind um this which again you you can see that in in the other video and then i added these envelopes so i put three envelopes together like so and the the flap of this one is underneath this paper so then i laid this paper I've got two envelopes here so the flap went underneath there and the flap went underneath there then I put that paper on I haven't put any envelopes in the middle normally I do but you know I, I mix it up I've just ripped parts of the paper 
uh, and added it because I, I quite uh, liked, liked that. And then on this one, there's two envelopes here, which um, the flaps are underneath here, and the two envelopes here, the flaps underneath here. Um, and and that's that's it. I've just used uh, some Manila coloured um, envelopes that I'd got in my stash. I've got some which are embossed, which uh, Violet had, had sent me a while ago, and I thought I best best get those uh, used up. Um, and she sent me these these ones as well. Um, I would like to know what this die is Violet if um, if you're watching it because these are my favourite envelopes uh, that, that you do and this one was just some uh, random um, envelopes that I'd got in my stash so that's that's the beginning um, of it so I've got no plan of you know what pockets I'm putting in or anything this is going to be a, um, a working along it now the last few projects I've done I've made the ephemera beforehand so when we've made the bones of something it has literally just been uh, sticking the things in this is we've got the bones now you know we're going to be making the ephemera um, for where it's gonna gonna live kind of um thing so i think i'm gonna start off is mat these three first i'm not using any of these as pockets um i'm going to put pockets on the outside what i mean by that is um you know i'm not going to be opening the tops up or any of the sides up um i'm just going to be matting these you can uh, make any of these into pockets all you need to do is just to make sure when you're matting that you don't put glue in you know this part so you would glue uh, thinly across there 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 around here and then you would fill this in and you'd mat it so your inside of your envelope uh, would have no glue in it so you could use the whole thing to put it a tag journal card in but um i'm not doing this on on this one i do normally again you know i i like changing things up so that's that's the way i thought i'd i'd do it so shall i show you what i've got um i've not got loads i've got a few um sheets of the uh, country diary the the text pages these are the um picture pages that's all i've got left from from the two two books that um i started with i have took all the autumn and winter pictures out because i will be doing <coughs> um some you know autumn winter things with the edith so that's the the pictures what we've got left i've got some of the meadow things left over which obviously mix in really lovely uh with with the edith so i've not got a lot i've got a couple of envelopes i've got these uh little files i've got a few little journal cards and bits of ephemera um left from it i've got a couple of pieces these are 49 own market same with them that was the piece that Denise sent me I'd like to get that in I've got a couple of these uh, note cards from the meadow kit um, I've got some of the Tim Holtz uh, flowers and some little corners um, I've got some beautiful um, lace and I've you know just got some regular cream lace got some bits of trims in there and I've got some of the um, bits and bobs from the kit these was the fussy uh, tear uh, 
florals in from the kit got some uh, strips all different kinds of strips and that not just from from the kit there's some uh dyes these are what mandy uh sent me mandy chilvers thank you um i have actually got that dye um myself now so um i i too can make cool little sides um got some ruler stickers they was from a your creative studio box got a couple of uh floral stickers they're just bits left from the kit tiny bits got some gems some pearls a couple of flower bits got those little uh wooden pieces tickets words labels butterflies um these are number you know got numbers on I've got the flat back pearls that Susan sent me. Thank you very much. Um, I have used a couple. Oh, in, in the Edith uh, tags that I did. I've got some sewn um, material. Oh my goodness. Ruffled thingies. Uh, I've got some page edges and bits of lace there. Uh, what else have I got? I've got a drawer full of uh, clusters. What we made um, in in the meadow series. So they're in there, and then I've got a few little little bits in in there. So that's that's what I'm bringing to the table. Um, obviously, I'll have to pull things out to make. Uh, pockets with I haven't got um, any of the meadow uh, kit pages printed off so I'm not going to use use them up because um, yeah I wanted to to use the the Edith up I've got a couple of strips of the wallpaper left um, and that's it so I'm going to pause a minute just breathe <laughs> and and then uh, we'll we'll make a we'll make a start so first plan is we're gonna mat these three um both both sides and then think about what pockets and where where we're going to put them i'm gonna put pockets on these back pages where would be the best place that you're not you know spoiling the image or should we be using vellum or glassine um so you know we'll we'll work it out um between us and and go for it and hopefully create something uh really beautiful this has already uh been been sold um it's not a custom i don't you know i don't do custom orders but somebody did say are you doing you know one of your type file folders in Edith Alden and I said yes that's what I'm doing next so um it is um it's already spoken for so it won't be going um in the Etsy shop so give me a minute and I shall be back okay so I've, I haven't got a lot of room I've literally got got this much so i'm gonna feel a little bit claustrophobic <laughs> um so i'm gonna have to keep everything really neat otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna be chaos so let me move my tea out of the way um let me push those down a little bit just to give me oh an extra an extra inch there we go so we can see see these three now so I'm feeling that, you know, this is next to a picture. Do I want um, another picture here or do I want text here? So <clears throat> if I put some text against it. I feel like I probably want a picture um, next because <clears throat> obviously we've got that block of uh, text there so probably looking for something pinky white or birds something you know that will uh, flow uh, nicely um, the foxglove would be very nice wouldn't it and I think I could get that to to fit nicely so if I was doing that as a picture, I'd probably do that as text and that as a picture. So really, <clears throat> we're looking 
for two. I wouldn't want that one on that one because we'd be cutting uh, too much, <clears throat> too much off. Wonder how much of that I could get in. Hmm. Might you be cutting cutting somebody off somewhere? No. Sometimes it's it's a bit of a bit of a wiggle to get um because you know they are such <clears throat> such big big images. That could be uh, a contender. Ooh. So let me just get my ruler. So this envelope is about seven inches. So if we went from the top of that flower to seven, it would cut off there, which would be fine. Um, and it's, I don't know why I've gone from inches to centimeters, but it's 12. So yeah, we could we could do do that. So and then I think the text in the middle um, <clears throat> will balance it balance it out. So we'll have a go uh, of that. So I'm going to take that rough edge off first. That's um. This is 14. So yeah, we'd get, get a decent decent amount in. That's, um, sorry, I keep switching from centimetres to inches. I just go with the simplest, um, you know, that I've not got to go one eighth in. So this is 19 and a half. So if we started right at the top, to 19 and a half so we're not going to want to go right the way to 19 and a half um, we'll go 19 and a quarter so that would finish off there which I'm quite quite fine with that so let's get the chopper so I'm gonna take Take the top bit off. Take. Just gonna go under that for um, a minute. I don't want to go too short and wish that I hadn't cut so, so much off. So let's have a look at Hi, Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I went. Um, like like that can anybody remember what that was 14 so let's go about that lovely And I've gone a little bit wider just in case I'd rather uh, cut twice yeah and I'm glad I did both both ways so you can see here now that we've got that uh, white uh, bit so I might put some washi tape down because as well as um, you know making it look pretty it will just give us a little bit more stability so just gonna get my uh, glue out so oh, I can't see it or reach it because I've got all these trays oh, that's it. one false move and everything's gonna go tumbling um, I'm gonna do these videos about 40 uh, minutes um, because if you are following along, you probably don't want too much to watch 
and um, you know then then get on with and um, if you are following along obviously you know you're going to be wanting to make your your <laughs> your um, oh dear the the bare bones of it so I'll start us off uh, slow I think this one will come out Friday if that's the case I'll probably put two up Saturday two up Sunday um, but like I say, I'll, I'll keep them at about 40, uh, 40 minutes and then that's nice. Um, oh dear, I need, I think now I've shown you these, I'm going to put these off um, to, to the side because I'm not going to be wanting them every, you know, every minute. Um, I think me having miss miss spaces is better. So, just using the the tea dye vintage photo looks very nice uh, with Edith Holden as well. Um, bundled sage, I've seen people uh, use that. I've got bundled sage, but I've only got it in in the spray. I think I would be quite tempted to use uh, bundled sage. Um, I've got the uh, Victorian velvet. Uh, I think that goes goes nice with with Edith as well. Um, so you don't have to use tea dye if you're not using Edith. If you're using a kit or another book, then obviously match your ink cup. Um, with with what you're doing, if if you're an inker, now let me just ink around here. Yeah. Some, some more ink on sorry i am literally just inking uh, around the bottom of this envelope these were some envelopes i pulled in at, at last minute um the other ones that uh, violet had sent me i'd already sat and um inked inked those up <laughs> while well, i was on a little video call with uh, miss kimmy um and waffled to her while I was uh, inking. <laughs> so that was that was fun, right? So that's uh, that's that. Yeah, that's lovely. So let's get let's get this piece down. I'm using the the collal. You can use whatever glue uh, you want. I've chose Kalal because um, it gives you uh, the ability to move it round. Uh, so if I put it on, you know, 1K, it's not stuck there. I've got that time to uh, move it, <coughs> move it around to where where I want it, and you know, say if I'd cut it too big and went oh I've cut it too big I would be able to to whip it um off so you get get a good few few minutes um very similar to Fabri-Tac <coughs> but um fabri -Tac's, I don't know four times as, as much money maybe in the UK um so I would pick the clal up rather than um, the fabric tag okay so that is the the first one on let's um fold that down so this one we're gonna have it as text aren't we you know what when i measured this why did i not go 12 and a half Seventeen and a half. Yeah, 
And I don't have to double do it, do I? Double do it. <laughs> I'm not doubling, doubling doing it. I can just do it once. Right, let's um, try and find one what's... Ah, that's got lots of uh, writing on. So, 12 and a half. That's um, what have I done with the ruler? Buried it. So, 12 and a half. Okay. So... <clears throat> I'm going to have to cut some off the, the bottom first because it, it doesn't fit. So I know that I can go right to the end of that text. Um, it's 12 and a half. So if I just go just before 12 and a half. Like so. That's just... Yep, that's fine. And 17 and a half. So we obviously gonna go like 17 and a quarter. So 17 and a half there. So if I go just under the December, so we've just got that bit of cream at the top. And 17 and a half there. So if I go just after the writing, hopefully that will be probably a little little bit more. Let's take a sliver off here. Yep. Probably do with just taking a sliver off that side. So the other one's going to be very, very similar um, measurements. So let's get that one done. So again, let's just take, I mean, I, I think it was up there, but... Yeah, fine. So if we cut that off at the top of there and mark it there. And take that rough bit off and we're taking Part of each one off, aren't we? So let's, let's take that bit off and then see see what we're left with. Yeah, that's fine. Let me just check that that is about the same. Yeah, it's a little bit um, skinnier. Where's my mark? Is that it? I think it was. So, said it was a little bit skinnier. So, let's try that. Still needs a little bit more off. So, I think I'll go that side. Still, still a tiny bit, a bit more. Um, I'll go uh, this side. Yeah. Okay. So, I want to ink around these. I'm going to ink around those envelopes and ink around these, and I'm going to get them stuck down. Uh, and I'll pause just to save us a little bit of time. Okay, so I used the washi tape again down there, uh, put some glue down and then put the, oh, not cut that, um, put the washi tape on top. 
and then I inked all around the envelopes, all around the pieces, and then <coughs> glued them down with the collal. That's it. So I think that looks very pretty. Yeah, so that will be... Oh, that's lovely. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, at this point, it can obviously go, go any, any way. So, I'm going to have to bring this this way. for the bags so let me just <coughs> look so if it went that way so I'm pretty much I can use any color on this side because uh, you know when you've got it like this you are seeing this and this you've just got the green here the birds there yeah okay um so if this was the front of this um stack shall we call it um so it would be nice to have a picture wouldn't it so let's have a now can anybody remember the measurements i think it was 12 and a half by 17 and a half something like that this is one of my favorite images so that's definitely a contender that's a bit too like that <laughs> i don't think you'd get the uh, full full effect on i mean that's nice we've got the birds we've got the green what kind of height are we so if we went under the april oh yeah that would and then brought that in to behind the tail. That would actually work really, really well. And we've still got the, the bit of pink in for the uh, underneath. I think I'm going to go with, with that one um, for that one. So then we see this one. <coughs> So I think that would be nice as um, tags. So I'm looking for <coughs> one that's got the fullest amount of uh, tags. That's not too bad. Oh, that's a good one. So that can be our bigger one. So that would be there. That would be there. So we want something quite subtle there because we're going to have two uh, together. Now I remember there was one with the, the cowslip on it. I don't know if that was another video uh, when I was doing the tags. That's pretty unassuming. Let's, um, Same with, with that. Mm, lots to choose from. Yeah, it must have been in the other video that um, I'd saw. I'd saw. <laughs> I saw. Uh, that so if we have this we would and we would have that would that would work out fine so with this one We'd get that and that 
that would also work out fine. This one we would get, we'd have to chop it off there, so we would get that and width ways. We'd get that. So I think the other two fit better, but what I'm going to do is put this one on and this one and then um, we can make us mind up about those. So, ruler <coughs> and this is, I bet you're shouting it out. <laughs> um, so what are we calling this? 13 and a half? Yeah, 13 and a half. That way. <laughs> and 19 and a quarter really we want it that way i have to put those arrows because sometimes i look at numbers and and they they don't mean anything to me i'm a bit like Phew. um yeah i think i've like got number dyslexia so 17 and a quarter we really want it and that's downwards so i was right i said 17 and a half didn't i oh i did say 12 and a half but so it'd be 11 and three quarters that way okay so we i did say go under the april didn't i so I mean the April doesn't stop till till there. So it's seventeen and a quarter. Yeah, that's fine. So if I do my first cut across there, and I'm doing it that way because obviously I'm just using the small uh, trimmer. So seventeen and a quarter gonna do it a bit bigger like I said I'd rather I want to say chivel at it but I don't think that's a a word chivel yeah that's probably about right so let's get rid of this empty space there and then let's have a look what we've got so 11 and three quarters so I'll take some of this side off okay still I'll take some more of this side watching that we're getting now close to the bird's tail so that's I don't want to take any more off than that on that side so if we go just under 12 this might be a really odd way of doing it you know you may look at that I think, crikey, she's going a long way around uh, doing that. But, um, you know, I'm wanting the best of, of the picture. Um, I don't want it to look um, lopsided. Um, I want it to, you know, look, yeah, lopsided. So I think I can afford to take a little bit more off. There. And I'm just going to take another slither. What isn't straight? Any of it. <laughs> What's not straight? None of it, Tanya. <laughs> it's all 
all wonky. Right. Okay, so I'm happy uh, with that. Lovely. Um, let's do this one. So I'm going to take the header off January and we've got 13 and a half. So I'm quite fine going down that edge. So 13, is my pencil here? It's here, 13 and a half. So, go that. Yeah, that's fine. And 19 and a quarter. So we've got 19. And just going just just above the 19 and a half. Is that the mark? I hope so. Yeah, that's fab. So, what are we feeling about? I feel that that's too much yellow, but you might feel that. You know, I don't know if to do it tags, or shall I just go? But then, do I want tags at the front? But I mean, I can have these as something but yeah I'm feeling that yeah so I'm going to put text there and I'm going to end the video here because all I'm going to be doing is cutting that down and inking around them putting the washi tape down and sticking them on so when I come back all this side will be uh, covered and um, we'll start and think about pockets on this side. I'm not going to, you know, go all through it in one go. Um, and just cover everything. We'll do a section, section at a time. Um, I'm going to keep keep those out because I do, do like those. Oh, and I need to find a, a text piece. So, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I will put the meadow playlist in the description i also have an edith holden playlist which is humongous um so you might want to take a look at that um i've got lots of file folders um i know i did a quite a simple file folder we did it as a facebook uh, challenge that's in the playlist um, so yeah, there's other file folders and there's lots of pockets and tags and uh, embellishments and all kinds of stuff. So I will leave those both in the description box. Uh, all the other links, the uh, my links are in my link tree um, and they link to everything everywhere that i've ever been and uh, the the ladies who help out in the facebook group all their uh, links are also down there so thank you very much if you're joining along please let me know if you're not joining in why <laughs> no tell me tell me what you're doing are, are you fed up with summer now have you totally moved on to to fall or you know what are you doing um, I'm hoping a lot of you are going to start coming coming back. It's been rather quiet, um, obviously over over the summer. Um, I think in in America the the children are back at school now. Um, I think we've still got another week um, in in the UK. Um, so yeah, let me know what you've been up to. Have you been away? Where you been? <laughs> give me give me an update and yeah, let me know if you're working on this. Any questions, just just ask. Um if you want to send me photos but you don't want to share them on the Facebook group, um uh, my email is always um available in the description and you're more than welcome uh, to send me pictures on there. Otherwise, um 
you know share them share them on the group if you're joining along and you've got a youtube channel put your link in um in the facebook group and um yeah we'll come along and and have a look what you're doing so that's the longest goodbye ever see you tomorrow <laughs> if this goes up on the saturday then there will be a second video if this goes up on the friday then there'll be just one today and two tomorrow um so yeah that's it bye